everyone and welcome back to my channel you guys today I'm gonna to be sharing my product empties so if you guys are interested then keep watching so I'm actually filming in a different bathroom and I'm not quite sure about the slide but we will have to work with this because that's all I've got at the moment so I have quite a hefty bag of empties right here so I thought it's time to share because I haven't done that for a minute so we're diving straight in first thing I have is a bath product this is the softening bath milk oil from Ameliorate. I love this so much. I have another product empty from them and everything that these guys do is amazing because it is all body care um, and is based on exfoliation and very mild exfoliation with lactic acid and stuff like that. So this actually contains lactic acid in it. So you pour a cup into your bath while you're running the water and then you literally leave the bath with the softest, most beautiful skin. This is great for dry skin if you have um, like scaly skin on your legs. It also has some essential oils like almond oil, it's got oats in it, so it's very softening, very soothing. And for winter time, it's perfect because my skin definitely goes on a drier side um, at winter time. So I could definitely recommend, it is one of my favorite bath products of the moment. Another, another product from them that I have is their like famous body lotion. This is what they are known for. This is what, you know, they started with. It's definitely one of the products that I repurchase. Um, this is probably my third bottle or something like this. It's called the Transforming Body Lotion. It's got alpha hydroxy acid in it. And it's great for dry skin, for bumpy skin, for dehydrated skin, for rough skin. So it's just a lotion, sinks in really well. It's not sticky, it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. So if you are after a more like not scented, you know, like luxurious moisturizer and you want um, to treat your skin, then I would definitely check this one out. And I've got a dry shampoo. This is the Living Proof PhD Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I actually really, really like that one. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of dry shampoos. I don't really use them that much. And when I do, this is the one that I tend to reach for. Um, I got it in Space and K when I had to like, buy something for extra 10 pounds and I bought this one and it was exactly 10 pounds. It's not a big bottle but that's why I like it because you can just pop it into your bag and it doesn't have that white powdery cast on your hair um, but it does do a good job at lifting the roots. So if you're after one, check that one out. I am out of my Sarah Chapman Skin Essence Overnight Facial. If you've been watching my channel for a while, if you've been watching my skincare routines, you will know that I am obsessed and in love with this. Like a night elixir, night oil. And this has so many mind-blowingly amazing ingredients. Um, it's got vitamin A, vitamin C, E. It's got Abyssinian oil, alpha lipoic acid, hemp seed oil, melon oil. It's got baobab oil. It's got all sorts of weird things that I can't even pronounce, coenzymes and things like that. It's just the most um, fantastic, the most luxurious, nourishing treatment you, ha you can have for your skin. Definitely alongside my Aurelia um, Cell Repair Night Oil. I love that. This is definitely front and center in, um, in on my shelf with that oil. Um, it's amazing, I have already repurchased, so yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I've already repurchased. Then I've got my eye cream, this is the Hilamide um, Sub-Q Eyes, this is a little serum for your eyes. This is probably my favorite eye product of the moment. I kind of stepped away from heavier creams under my eyes. It's very, very light, it's moisturizing. You know, if you are after something more anti-aging, this is probably not for you, but if you are just after hydration and refreshing your under eye area and getting rid of those dark circles, then this one is great. Then I have a face spray. This is the Omarovisa Queen of Hungary Mist. This is like one of their hero products kind of thing. I really, really like it. It's one of my favorite mists, one of my favorite sprays. I have quite a few of these little bottles in different bags. It is glass, which is amazing, but maybe not for when you're traveling. Um, it's fantastic. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so that will pull moisture into your skin. It smells very nice. It looks very nice. Do you have to spend that amount of money on a, on a face spritz? 
Maybe not, but you know, if you're feeling extra bougie, go for it. Then I have a product from Pixi. This is their Glow Mud Mask. So you just leave it for 15 minutes. It's got mud. Obviously, it's called Glow Mud Mask. But, you know, what I'm trying to say is that it's got mud in it and it looks muddy, but it also has ginseng and aloe vera. So it's great if you are feeling a little bit breakouty. Is that a word? If it's not a word, I have just invented it because I have had quite a few breakouts so I've been trying to dry them out with this mask and it works you can do more of a, like a pinpoint um, treatment just apply it on the spots or you can have it you know on your whole face it doesn't go too tight on the skin either so just one of those simple matte masks really can't like rave for hours about it but I don't mind it we have a body cream this is the Sol de Janeiro Assay Body Power Cream and I really like it. I mean, it's a cute little packaging because again, this is a good size for traveling. Um, I like it. It smells very good. I have like the tiniest, tiniest... Excuse me! I really like it. This has shimmer in it. So if you are not somebody who likes to like glow in the light when you go outside and everybody's like, ah, oh, you're shiny, you're shimmery, you're glittery then maybe it's not for you because it does have a little bit of that almost like a pinky shimmer to it. Um, the cream, however, is very nourishing and very moisturizing. Great on like on your legs in winter and it does smell like a holiday. So I have this guy, uh, the Glossier Boy Brow. I will not be repurchasing this. I did enjoy it, um, but it didn't like blow my mind exactly. It's nice and small, but I am enjoying I'm literally standing by the cupboard. I am really enjoying the Benefit, um, what's it called, Gimme Brow. So it's very similar, but I just feel like I get a little bit more from the Benefit one, so I'm not gonna be repurchasing the gloss here. Then I have a cleanser. This is a face cleanser. Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is with Rose and Lavender. And I will not be repurchasing this one just because I think I prefer other cleansers at the moment. Especially in winter, I prefer an oil-based cleanser, a balm, you know, like the Elemis one or the Emma Hardy ones. I just found it a little bit too rich, weirdly, even though I do like a balm and an oil. I don't know, just something doesn't sit right with me with this one. Um, it's got lavender oil and rose oil and maybe it's just a little bit too scented for my liking for a, um, for a face cleanser. Then I've got this guy. This is Armageddon from Soap and Glory. So this is a um, cream for the back of your arms. However, you don't absolutely have to use it just on the back of your arms. You can use it on um, if you have any cellulite, if you have any like that kind of grapefruit skin on your thighs. Um, I definitely do in some places and this does work really well. This has the kukui oil and I think it's got um, grapefruit in it as well because it definitely smells like grapefruit. Yes, scented with grapefruit, orange, lemon, rosemary, essential oils. And it kind of has that kind of tingly almost like stinging sensation when you put it on, but not unpleasant, it doesn't burn. And I did find that it helped me with um, with the back of my arms. However, you guys, a cream will not fix everything. You have to work out and you have to exercise and you have to eat well. Then we have the Corex, Corex, C-O-R-X, no, that one. Light fit, real water toner to cream. So yeah, this is the texture, how it comes out. So it's a very light gel, almost cream. And then as soon as you start spreading it on your skin, it literally turns to water. So this is a cream to toner um, product, which I think is fascinating. That's a really, really interesting concept. Um, instead of, you know, saturating a pad or, you know, passing it on your skin, you can literally apply the cream. This is very non-greasy. It's a very light texture. It actually has seawater in it and hyaluronate, uh, sodium hyaluronate, which is a type of hyaluronic acid. So it is quite like hydrating and moisturizing if you want to go that extra step. I will not be repurchasing at the moment because I just have a lot of other products that I'm using and a lot of other toners that I'm using. Then we have the Swell Advanced Volumizing Shampoo. Um, this is incredible if you have thin, fine hair. If you don't have a lot of hair and you want to have some volume, this will work wonders for you. 
for me, with my mane, is not worth it because it just makes it too lifted. Like, that sounds really weird that I would think of it as a negative, but it just doesn't work for my amount of hair. But it's like a three-step system. This is the first step, then they have a conditioner, then they have like some other treatment. But I have to say that this whole range of swell for fine hair is incredible. So if you are a person who's looking for like lifting, you know, more volumizing shampoo with fine hair, definitely check these guys out. Then I am out of my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite balm as a first step, as a first step cleanser. This is absolutely perfect. I've got like one time there and I will definitely use it tonight. Uh, but this is fantastic. This smells amazing. This definitely melts all your makeup away. And um, it's gentle on the eyes. I really, really like it. Of course, after that, I follow up with a water-based cleanser. Um, but I've been using it for years and I really like it. Then we have the simple kind of skin deep cleansing face mask. As far as mud masks, cleansing masks, purifying masks go, this is brilliant, you guys, and it's only a couple of pounds. It's got cowling clay in it, it's got vitamin B5, it's got vitamin E. So if you wanna go cheap and cheerful, this is perfect. You don't have to go Origins, you don't have to go Pixie, you can go for this and it does exactly the same job. So I'm a big fan of this mask, actually. I think this is one of the best products. And um, then I have a cleanser from Enviro. This is the Cebu Wash. If you have very oily skin, if your skin is very prone to breakouts, if you have cystic acne, if you just, you know, have very clogged pores, this is incredible. But if you have dry skin to normal skin, I would step away from this because it can be quite drying. Um, this got salicylic acid in it, so it, it can be quite drying. What else has it got in it? It's also got the tea tree oil. So that is fantastic for, um, for disinfecting and kind of having that antibacterial effect on your breakout, of stripping that first layer of the dead skin and then getting there and really purifying your skin. It's amazing. It's kind of like a thin, um, clear gel wash and it just foams up but for me i'm not repurchasing in the moment because it's just a little bit too harsh for me i love the cleansing lotion and i use it all the time this one not for me at the moment but like i said just depends on your skin type then i've got an empty bottle of neil's yard remedies frankincense and mandarin body lotion this smells divine it smells of spring gardens it smells of flower gardens like honestly it's just like oh you want to wrap yourself in it comes in a glass comes with a pump beautiful bottle love it it's got jojoba oil in it almond oil pumpkin seed oil it's just great it's like a rich in fatty acids and that's exactly what you want for your skin if you do have dry skin on your body so yeah 100 percent recommend what else have we got in here oh another product from pixie overnight glow serum um this is like a concentrated exfoliating gel and this has got um aha um alpha hydroxy acid in it so if you are after an exfoliation at night um just kind of revealing your best glowing skin by the morning this is really good it's a little bit sticky however that is my only problem with it it's just a little bit sticky like uh, I will put it on and I'm aware that it's on and I don't like that feeling especially before bed I have an empty bottle of kiwi seed booster from halo um, I really enjoyed using this much more than the original halo I do think that that made a difference to my skin I have not been taking it since I finished this bottle because I don't have any more and I think that I should repurchase and go back to it. I mean, it says that it's great for fine lines, wrinkles, supports collagen, keratin production, supports clear and radiant complexion. Certainly supported my clear and radiant um, complexion. I took it for two months, I had two bottles, and I think it's, it's worth it. Then I have a little eye cream from Environ, and it's dripping with something, ouch. And it's, it's their eye gel. This is really good. This is very light. It's moisturizing. It's got some panthenol in it. It's very soothing. So it's great for just like soothing that area for you. You can actually use it over your eyelids as well, which I find quite interesting because a lot of the other eye creams can get into your tear ducts and then sting. That one doesn't do that. And then I have a little fresh 
Rose Floral Toner. I love their big bottles, the ones that has rose petals in it. I kind of have it in my bathroom and I just put a few drops on my face and pat it in. Smells really good um, and it's nice, refreshing, soothing, hydrating. Is it like, you know, the most effective treatment out there? No. But you know what? Sometimes you just want to put something on your face that smells nice. And that's kind of what that product is about. That is it, you guys. Those are all my empties of the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, I need to wash my hands. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.